Did you know that for probiotics to actually be effective, they need to make it through the entire digestive system and make it to the colon. But many actually don't make it there alive. So what's the point? Are probiotics just a big waste of money? I'm Caroline, a certified nutritionist with a no BS approach to nutrition that looks beyond the marketing fluff and focuses on the facts. Today, let's talk about what probiotics are, how they work in the body, their benefits, and we'll take a closer look at a new trending probiotic on the market called Seed. So put very simply, a probiotic is a very, very small organism that is known to provide positive benefits to the person taking it. Now it's really important though that these small organisms actually make it through the body to the colon to actually provide benefits because they have to actually survive our stomach acid and survive our harsh digestive enzymes before they actually make it there. So it's really crucial that you are looking for a probiotic that has some sort of feature to help that probiotic survive that entire journey. So the first feature could be a spore forming probiotic. They're basically asleep throughout the whole journey to the colon. And then once they get to the colon, that's the right environment for them to grow. So that's when they'll wake up and that's when they'll start doing all of the good stuff. Uh, the second feature you could look for is going to be a enteric coating. So that's going to be a probiotic that has a certain coating on it that is going to be very strong. It's going to withstand that journey. It's going to withstand the stomach acid. The last option would be a time released probiotic. So this is a probiotic that is going to uh, not actually break down again until it makes it through the digestive system to the colon. One of the probiotics that does use this time release functionality and does have a prebiotic coating is seed. When it comes to seed, there are actually a lot of pros. So I like that there are 24 different strains and these are all strains that have been studied with double blind placebo controlled studies based on humans. So that's sort of the golden standard when it comes to scientific research. They are shelf stable, so that means that you can travel with them. There is that monthly delivery, so again, it can make it a lot easier to be more consistent with taking the probiotic. They are third-party tested for purity and potency. They also have, of course, that dual capsule functionality. I also really like that they focus strongly on education. Now, the only thing that I don't love about seed would be the fact that they do use a newer way to quantify the amount of probiotics they have in their capsules. So the industry standard is something called CFU. They use, they use something called AFU. Uh, assuming that they are doing the conversion correctly, this method is supposedly a newer, more accurate way of quantifying the probiotics. So probiotics like seed and other ones on the market can actually provide a lot of great benefits for the body. It's actually linked to our mental health. So probiotics can help with improving our mental health because our gut actually produces neurotransmitters like GABA and serotonin. It obviously also supports our digestive health. So it can help with improving regularity of our bowel movements. And it actually helps us absorb our B vitamins, which is really important for energy. And about 70% of our immune system is found in our gut. So it's really important that we are nourishing and supporting our gut health. But, and this is a big but, there is a big misconception around probiotics. So many often think that taking a probiotic helps to provide permanent changes in our gut environment when that is actually not the case. So probiotics are designed to be more temporary in nature and they will provide temporary benefits. So that's why it's really important that if you are taking a probiotic for a specific reason, for digestive issues, for example, that you are actually addressing the root cause of what might be behind those symptoms. So, so I hope you found that helpful. Please let me know in the comments below if you've tried seed or if you've tried any other probiotics. And in the meantime, here's to living a happier and healthier life, and I'll see you in the next one.